day three of our road trip and it is probably nine something in the morning and it's in the 40s right Vito? Well I was gonna get up to close to 65 70 but right now it's 40 42. Yeah and so what are we getting ready to do? Uh Tioga Falls the water's probably not gonna be running that high. Yeah I don't think so but it'll be a good just get our legs going this morning. So what's on tap for today? Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Like what? Uh, Patton Museum. Might go to Lincoln's birthplace. Got to do a lot of run around Fort Knox. We're going to hit a distillery on the way down there. And uh, a lot of photo opportunity. Just do some touring down at Fort Knox, too. Hey, cool if a train came by. Those leaves look like they have frost on them. I don't think we're going to have much of a waterfall. I can hear some water, but there's a creek bed down there that looks pretty dry. We got a little bit of waterfalls. So the falls actually exceeded my expectation. I wasn't expecting anything really because it's been fairly dry. What do you think? It's nice. And you got the lower and you got the upper. You got the lower here, you got the upper up there. So during peak water flow season, this is probably picturesque. Yeah. And I, I think it would be really pretty during the fall season. There's a lot of trees, a lot of leaves down. So it's a nice trail. It's very short. Forgiving. It's a, well, it's a health, the trees are all healthy or big, uh, and you can tell they're, uh, they're old trees, so it's a very established uh, set of wood. It's owned by the military uh, and maintained by the military, so I never knew this trail even existed. This right here is white oak. So here's a here's a pin oak, here's a white oak. This is mostly a oak forest. This is exactly what I like to do. Getting out, enjoying nature. Oh, yes. So the rest of our day is not gonna be out on trail. It'll be more historical related and uh, veto Thinking back on some memories that he had here, stopping at a couple of places that he remembers. So that'll probably take care of our day. We'll see. Trying to use my bird app more. It sounded like I was able to capture a brown creeper, a golden crowned kinglet, and a tufted titmouse. While we realize we cut the trail short a little by doing that detour it was 1.5 miles i don't know why they have that detour anyway anyways <laughs> betty missed the trailhead <laughs> it was this huge trailhead we drove right past it and took took the trail or the road down to the end of the road and it said that tioga falls bypass or reroute whatever it was we missed a major trailhead i mean this thing had a sign there but the problem is the gps took us to the ultimate trailhead yeah it did that was uh, what... we ain't doing gps anymore <laughs> he was gonna have to put his about map reading skills to the test so we're at the george Patton museum yeah right? george Patton leadership. museum this is new they just put this up in may this year Brand new, so they relocated this World War II barracks. There were thousands of these things in Fort Knox and Drummond everywhere. So let's go inside. This is exactly what we stated. When I joined the Army in 1979, see those bunks? That's exactly when I went to Fort Bragg. That's what we stayed in. This is great. This is how we went to the bathroom. This is what? how you took a thumb. There is no stall? <laughs> no. There is a private bathroom. Here's your shower, sir. Here's how you took showers. 
Well, this is it. Picture 50, 50 people in a platoon or living in a place like this, and this is, these are your quarters. So when you're not out in the field, here's what you're living in. <laughs> The Pet Museum. Lots of tanks. Vito's in his glory here. He was in the tank unit in the army. He used to lead the troops in those. So Vito was also in the ROTC. What is that? Oh, look at that screen. See the symbol there? No. The tanker symbol? Second armor division. Oh. Right Take there. There's Patton's tanker's uniform right there. All right, time changes a little bit. Whenever somebody in this day and age see WTF, it's definitely not for what? What they is, flew this off the USS Augusta, what, and it stood for Western Task Force. So this was what Patton they flew on the on the ship when they, he went to the uh, North African beach. So it was the Western Task Force. Western Task Force. <laughs> Not exactly what you think it was today. This is part of the Berlin Wall. So they have some 9-11 memorial in here. And this is the fire truck. So this fire truck uh, was damaged during the attack on the Pentagon. Decided to stop at the Boundary Oak Distillery. They make the George Patton whiskey. Patton Armored Diesel and Lincoln. So, uh, what was the story behind the Patton one? It's called the Armored well, Diesel. The lady said that Patton used to dump whiskey into his gas tank every now and then to uh, either make his vehicles run a little smoother or better. But uh, that's the story she told me. is Abraham Lincoln's birthplace. I'm gonna go into the memorial building. So that uh, one room log cabin was built in 1848. Originally people thought it was Lincoln's cabin, but they 
investigated and realized it wasn't. So the property we're on, what I learned is Lincoln was born here. Yeah, his family, he lived here until he was two years old. And his family bought this because there was a, there's a spring we're going to right now that was a good source of water. So he owned 300 acres, apparently bought it for 200 bucks, Lincoln's father. And Lincoln was born somewhere on the property here. But uh, exactly where, I'm not sure. They built this memorial in 1911. Teddy Roosevelt, you can see pictures, was the one that dedicated it. So they did a big dedication in 1911, four years after the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. So Lincoln was memorialized here and in D.C. approximately 45 years after his death. Boundary oak tree. It should be down by the um, sink hole that has the water source. And the Boundary Oak Distillery is named after that tree. Yeah. Boundary Oak. All right. I thought we were actually going to see the Boundary Oak. It, well, it did live beyond 200 years, but as you can see, it's no longer here. Well, this is the survey mark. I'm thinking that's where the boundary oak was. But you can't really see inside here. You can definitely hear. Definitely confused. This is the sinking spring. We'll take a walk down there. Ooh, ooh, you could just feel the difference in temperature as soon as you hit these last few steps. Wow, very chilly. Now, finally, we found the right place. Oh, look at that, it's like air conditioning. They've done a nice memorial here. The National Park Service did a nice job taking this place over. Original Lincoln Farm, who walks trails that Lincoln probably stepped on over the course of his life. Well, he was two years old before he left. So I don't know how much walking he did. He was a big log splitter, big outdoorsman, but he was only two, so. Yeah. Actually, he probably was not out and about. His father was a lot on this property. Yeah. There's a roundabout here. It's got all these tanks. So we're uh, heading into a happy hour at the Fiddler's Green. So it yeah. used to be a officer's club, but no longer. It's also called the Saber and Quill. We're going to be winding it down here in a little bit. What's your top three for Fort Knox? Fort Knox, I would say the barracks at the Cat Museum were unexpected in that. It was an exact replica of World War II barracks, which were in use pretty much until the late 70s, early 80s. So I've stayed in those barracks and uh, know exactly what they were all about. So that was number one. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, the Falls was nice. Tyrogo Falls was a nice hike. It was a short hike. Betty missed the trailhead. <laughs> she missed the trailhead, and the trailhead was so obvious. You got tunnel vision and missed the trailhead. I huh? can't explain how an AT2 hiker can miss an obvious trailhead. They're following the GPS. So that happened, number two. And uh, number three, it is Fort Knox Officer Club. Free food, drinking Sam Adams. Happy hour for nothing. Sponsored on USAA Insurance, which we have put on this happy hour. So we're here at Fort Knox in the Old Fiddler's Green, uh, which is uh, run by Sam Adam Brew House now, and uh, it's great. All right. Just to clarify, though, the drinks we had to buy. We had to buy the drinks, but, but the, the food, food is good. We had chicken fingers, we had, uh, zucchini slices, cheese, salami. Uh, it's good. 
All right, buddy. Uh, we are at Fort Knox Officers Club Fiddler's Green. I want to hear your top three at Fort Knox. All right. Well, anybody that knows me can guess what I'm doing. So my uh, top three, I like the falls, of course. I love waterfalls. I like getting out in nature. So that had to be my top. I did like that. For my second, I'd have to say it was the natural spring at Lincoln for the site. That one was nice. We almost missed it, by the way. But uh, anyway, we did find it finally. And I just loved how, you know, you're going down the stairs and then there's this difference in temperature. And then you can see the, the running water. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then my third really was, it's kind of nice here at the... Um, Fiddler's Green uh, Club. It was uh, pretty interesting to hear Vito talk about, like I said, who would you talk to in here? And he could just tell by the uniform what rank they were, where they served, you know, anything that he might have in common with them. So I thought that was pretty interesting. What about the uh, Christmas tree lighting yesterday? You didn't mention that. That was day two. We're on day three. All right, you heard it from the former officer club at Fort Knox Fiddler's Green. Day three in the books. So we're calling it a night. Uh, we just finished up with the Fiddler Green, a couple of drinks, good snacks. Uh, we had a good night. It's time to call it. Time to call it a night here at Fort Knox. Don't know if I'll ever get back here, but... I always love coming back here.